Hello again, everyone. I hope you're doing well on this Wednesday afternoon. It's a pleasure to talk to you once again to the one and only Bad Mofo herself, the pride of Scotland, Dr. Neville. So many nicknames. We know her as Jojo, Joanne Calderwood. And she returns to action on August 1st in uh, in 10 days against Jennifer Maya, replacing Viviani Araujo. We thought that uh, Joanne was going to fight Valentina Shevchenko for the title, but uh, we got this curveball, and so I wanted to talk to her about it all. First off, Joanne, thank you very much for the time. And and usually I'm I'm proud to get the exclusive, but in this case, I'm very proud to get the second interview with you since you uh, announced this fight, you signed for this fight, because uh, my daughter Claire got the exclusive with you on Tuesday. So thank you very much for that as well. No problem. That was fun. <laughs> it's good to teach them when they're young. Absolutely. When uh, she's 30 years old and a Pulitzer winner, we'll always remember that her first interview was with Joanne Calderwood. We'll always go back to that moment. So thank you for that honor. Um, so can you clear this up for us? What happened here? Why are you fighting in 10 days as opposed to waiting for Valentina Shevchenko? Yeah, it's, it, I didn't think I would have this much blowout from uh, taking this fight. But I feel like everyone forgot that I fought and then I had to wait five, six months before I got news of another fight. And that fight was the biggest opportunity of my life for to fight for the title. But I had already not fought for five months. Uh, so then, yeah, great. Yeah, let's do it. And she even came on your show and she was like, yeah, I'm good to go. So let's get straight back in there. And I think Jojo Calderwood would be possibly uh, the next person. So I was like, oh, awesome. And then so started to get ready for that. And then the pandemic hit, hit. And then I heard that she was injured and she wanted to get surgery. So I was like, OK, it's so only a few more months. We, we were told just a month or two later so I was like okay we can wait we can wait and then got news again that it wasn't going to be until the end of the year and by that time I was just like scunnered and just itching to get back in there and I took I spoke to Danny John and we all decided yeah let's just take a fight because right now the division is it's not really there's not I don't want to say much competition, but it's needing more build up, more women, and it's only new, so it's going to take another few years to like to get there. So our risk is, yeah, we lose the fight, but so what? We can go back out there, fire out another two wins, and get back in title title run. So, and then so we told the UFC, okay, that's not good news, but. We want to take another fight. We want to take a fight, and then the next day we got offered Jennifer Maya, and I saw it as a sign. I was like, "Let's do this," because I've been training since my last fight, and I'm just ready to get back in there. So going back to um, before, you know, the pandemic became uh, a real serious thing here in America. When you were told that you were getting that title shot because you were going to fight her in Perth, right in June, mm -hmm. and then slowly but surely it was taken away from you after everything you've been through after this long journey to finally get a UFC title shot and then for it to be taken away. What was your reaction? How did you feel? I was gutted. I was like, man, but at the time, like the circumstances that we were under, I was like, this is not something that's in my control. So I just kind of let it, let it go. And then I was concentrating on the fact that I was still, going to be fighting her when she came back from the surgery so that kind of kept me going and then initially it seemed like okay she had the surgery but then she was going to return in the fall uh, were you told that her return got delayed and ultimately that helped you make this decision to stay active yeah so when we first got we heard word it was only be going to be one or two months august at the latest and i was like okay that's not too bad but then we got word last week, or yeah, last week, and then it was going to be November at the, the earliest. So when you took this fight, did the UFC say you win regardless how you're keeping your spot as the number one contender, or has has the deck just been all shuffled now and you kind of have to work your way back up? I mean, if I go out there and win, I'm still probably going to be the one that fights Valentina. Uh, whenever she comes back, 
I hope. But you can't look too much into the future. I'm just seeing as this is a kind of blessing in disguise. I, I feel like the time off has been good, but at the same time, it's kind of been driving me crazy because I've, it's like, it's, it's always like this, Ariel, you know, goes up and down, but I feel like, when say when you're out on the shelf and you're injured, it's okay. You're working. You've got deadlines to work towards and get better and come back. I've been doing that. I've been getting better, but at the same time, I've not been getting anything back in return. Like, oh, I just had a fight and I had a great performance. I got paid, and you had the adrenaline and it was great feeling. You know, you missed all that action. So I just felt like. It was either I get a fight or I start fighting John in the house. <laughs> uh, and, and you're lucky, at least you have a coach. So I would imagine, uh, you know, a coach living with you, your fiance. So I would imagine that uh, the quarantine, while frustrating for others, was probably not too bad for you because you had your coach living with you in the house, right? I'm sure you didn't take too much time off from training. No, we didn't. We had access to the gym. So it was just me and him. We were just kind of going our daily life with, it never really stopped, so uh, that was good. And then, actually, I, we've just come out of quarantine because John tested positive, I don't know if you knew this, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, so we were just, and we were, it was the exact same. So we, wow. yep. How's he feeling now? He's good. He got his test back uh, negative and he's back at work and it's all good. Okay, and you didn't get it? No, which is the craziest thing because we quarantined together and, uh, yeah, I tested negative. Wow, that is interesting. Um, and, and so when you when you told the UFC that you're willing to fight, that was before, like, you basically told them, I'm available, and then they came back to you and offered you this. It wasn't them coming to you once Araujo pulled out, right? No, this was the next day. I don't know when they, wow. when she, when she, I don't know when that happened, when she pulled out, but literally we said, okay, we're not going to wait. We want to take a fight. And then the next day, okay, you want to take Jennifer Myers' fight because her girl's out. We are like, heck yeah. So I don't know if you saw this, but uh, I gave you props for doing this because I think a lot of people wouldn't do this. You know, you have the title shot. You'll you'll sit around, and I understand. I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I don't, I don't blame anyone for wanting to sit out and, and wait for the title shot. But uh, I gave you props for doing this and for risking that uh, yesterday. And the majority of the responses, as is typically the case online, negative, saying, "Oh, you probably just did it because you needed money." Is that true? Are you only doing this because you needed money? Have you been struggling because you haven't fought since last September? Uh, obviously that does play in the back of my mind, but I feel like, it, and it will always be the case because us fighters are, I feel like money is always on our mind and our career, this is, <laughs> this is short lived and, you know, you want to get in there and make as much money as you can and kind of retire and be able to still move your body and uh, play with your kids. But to be honest, I'm in a good position. I've, I've, been smart i saved and invested and it, yeah the money's going to be nice but it wasn't my main priority mm. um and 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 what about just the 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 current state of the division you know uh recently you had a uh a new face enter the fray cynthia calvillo she had a solid win over jessica i and i think last i checked she's number three now in the rankings in fact she might even be above you last i i checked although the UFC rankings, I don't put much stock into them. Um, a, what did you think of her debut at 125? And B, uh, are you at all concerned that she might get the that title shot before you? No, I don't have any control of, over that. I just have control over this next fight. So uh, I took that chance. Uh, but I feel like flyweight division right now is, like what strawweight was when I started when they first started that off and I had my debut and then it was like Joanna the killer she killed everyone and then it kind of took a few years to settle settle down and get the numbers and get the right contenders where they're supposed to be so I feel like flyweight is at that point in its career <laughs> it's going to be another two years before we we can see some 
right now I'm like more eyes on strawweight because I think that's the best division right now to watch. But you're not going to strawweight, right? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Those days are over. Um, but speaking of cutting weight, Maya's missed weight in her last two fights. If she misses weight, will you still take it? Yeah. Yeah. Is there like For a sure. cap at how, you know, like if it's three pounds, four pounds? No, we'll see. I, uh, funny, a few people have said, oh, it looks like she's, she's in shape. So, and she's, she's got no excuses this time because she's had a good camp. So I feel like maybe those two things, two mess ups were maybe a blessing in disguise and she'll maybe get it right for time lucky. Okay. Um, do you like this matchup for you? Yeah. She's been around We've a long been, time as well. Former flyweight yeah. champion Invicta. Yep. I uh, think we're going to have a good scrap. Uh, obviously, I, I think that she's going to probably bum rush me and take me to the ground, but uh, I'm hoping for a good scrap. And I was back sparring yesterday and feel great and just excited. It's like, it's good to get a two week camp because everything has to fit in. And then, uh, so you get all the emotions and you get them over with in the space yeah. of two weeks instead of having like so long to think about uh, all the things that go through your mind. Getting nervous, anxious, who needs yeah. some feelings, right? Yeah. Nothing good comes from that. Uh, smaller cage, do you think it benefits her because of her style, as you mentioned? She'll bum rush you. Do you think that benefits her? You'll be fighting in the smaller cage at the apex. Uh, so, if anything, she, what she, she's going to put me against the cage, and then that's going to be frustrating. But obviously, we're working on not being in that position. So, uh, I just hope that you know, I, I always want to go in and excite the fans and uh, have have an exciting bout. By the way, what is life like back home in Scotland? I know you haven't been there, but. Um as far as coronavirus and all that, is your family okay? And, and is it relatively back to normal now? No, they're still, the gyms are still not back. Wow. They're open, so it's crazy. And I don't even think they were, they didn't have that much high numbers. But yeah, they're still, my mom didn't stop working. But uh, yeah, she was, she's the good. My sister and brother, everyone's good. But yeah, it's kind of a slow return. Okay. And it's crazy because like Vegas feels like everything's back to normal. And then I'm still, I expect them to be, but then they're telling me, no, it's still like, still really slow. They're coming back really slow. But I feel like uh, they're doing it a little bit better in Scotland. <laughs> maybe if you look at the numbers, <laughs> but uh, who am I to, uh, to judge on what's going on? So in, in conclusion, uh, you, you take this fight on August 1st. You win this fight and you're back to where we started. You'll you'll hopefully fight Valentina by the end of the year. That's the plan, right? You're not going to take another fight between now and then, right? Maybe. Oh, my gosh. This is the craziest Cause... thing I've ever heard. This is making me anxious now, Jojo. You can't be doing this. You finally got the title shot. Dude, this is why I came to MMA. I wanted to, I wanted to fight the best and just fight regular. I'm best when I'm just go, 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 go. Because all I think about is fighting and... You know, you can get good sparring in the gym, but it's still not the same. And I just feel like I, I don't want to lose that uh, killer instinct. And uh, it's right now, it's going on fire right now because I've been out. It's coming up in a year that I've not fought. Yeah. And you were you were 100% healthy the whole time. Mm -hmm. Wow. Which That's... is the more, more frustrating for right. that. So I just do... wanted to. I just wanted to touch on what you said er earlier, Ariel, before we go or whenever we're finished, about I, f I also felt like there was a big shock when I took this fight because when I took the Valentina fight, everyone was like, oh, what are you doing? And then so then I took this fight and then it's like, oh, what are you doing? It's like you can't please everyone. And geez, the past few years, if anything, I've took away from being in this spot. You have to have thick skin because people out there are just going to be, like you said, negative and you can't make everyone happy.
Yeah, I, I think what you're referring to is when you took the Valentina fight, everyone said you're going to get killed by her, right? And now they're saying, well, why didn't you stick around? So it's like, which one is it? Should I stick around yeah. to get killed or should I just get active and, and, and get paid as well? So I agree 100%. That's got to be annoying, right? You're a fighter and everyone's telling you you're going to get killed by someone, by, by another human. I know. I, 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 I laughed, but I was like, wait a minute, my mom reads this. <laughs> She's going to be like, and Scotland, like in tears, <laughs> reading all these nasty comments. But did she read them? I she's like she. I told her mom, you know, you know the situation that we're in, and she's like, oh yeah. F those <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Well, you can make a statement on August first and shut up those people. Uh, beat Jennifer Maya and get back in that spot. And maybe they'll put a little more respect on your name. If you, uh, if you do something impressive, it's probably just because they forgot Jojo, you know, it's, it's a yeah. very, what have you done for me lately? Kind of sport, short-term memory. And you can remind them in, uh, in 10 days. Yeah, that, that was another, I forgot to mention that actually another frustrating factor that other flyweights were having two, three fights. And I was still sitting like, yeah, I'm in a great spot, but I'm not, I'm not fighting. It's and people forget. They just for, they just remember the last fight. And can I just say one last thing? And and uh, you can agree or disagree. I sort of chuckled when I heard people say, "Oh, well, she's just doing it for the money." Well, isn't that what this whole thing is about? Like we all work for money. Like why is My that job? a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sit out for a year and not get paid? I mean, it, it's a very bizarre thing the way people talk about money in sports. It's like, yeah, of course, it's called yeah. prize fighting for a reason. So. I don't really think that that should be a knock on you as well. Yeah, I was thinking about replying like, oh, do you want to come pay my bill? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy uh, people. Well, it was yeah. a nice surprise uh, that you've been added to this card. Uh, we found out today that we lost uh, another uh, women's MMA fight on that card. The Holly Holm, Irene Aldana oh. fight is, is not happening. You didn't know this. No, I've not Wait. been on my phone all morning. Sorry. No, no, uh, it's okay. So that fight is off. And now the new main event is... Uh, Derek Brunson versus Edmund Shabazian. So we lost one female fight. We got a female fight in you versus uh, Jennifer Maya. Please. I'm looking forward to it. I wish you the best over the next 10 days. Uh, good luck with the, uh, the very short training camp. And uh, thank you as always. It's great to talk to you. And again, thank you on behalf of Claire as well. Thank you. And give her a little hug for me. <laughs> Will do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.